Hi guys, welcome to this speed build video in The Sims 4. My name is Irene and today I am building birds. But first of all, yay! I'm so happy to be back. It feels like such a long time ago that I've been uploading. It feels like such a long time ago that I've been talking English. So if I make some mistakes, I'm sorry in advance. <laughs> But yay, I'm back. It's only been two weeks, so I don't want to be too dramatic, but it just feels amazing to be uploading again. I really miss it and I cannot wait to share this build with you guys today. I'm building a bird. If you've seen any of my other videos, I love building your yeah, builds in the shape of animals, flowers. I did a moon as well. I did an orca, I did jellyfish and I never really did a bird before. So I just wanted to give that a try. And it's not just a bird, it will be a magical headquarters as well on the ground. Because I'm building this in the realm of magic, in the magical realm, the world that came with the realm of magic back, of course. There are a couple of reasons why I decided to make it into a magical headquarters. First of all, of course, because of the lot. Normally, I'm starting my builds with an idea, but this time I actually started my build or my plan to make a build with this lot. I discovered and I know it's not news, I'm totally certain there is a lot of information about it on Google, but for, I discovered for myself that I could make it snow in the magical realm. If you have the seasons pack, of course you have to, got to have the seasons pack to make it snow or to make it rain or weather, anything like it. But if you have the seasons pack, there is actually a weather engine with that pack as well, a weather machine. And I think you can just find it under activities in your build and buy menu. Maybe you have to use that ignore gameplay unlocks entitlement cheat. I'm not totally sure. Yes, that's a very long cheat. I will put it in the description box down below. But then you can use that weather engine. Just place it on the lot, on this lot to access the build mode on this lot. You have to use the cheat as well. bb.enable free builds. Because the magical headquarters used to be here. Normally you cannot build here, but you have to use the cheats, then place in the weather ma uh, machine. And then you have to click on the weather machine. Your sim got to have a very high handiness skill though. I just uh, maxed out the handiness skill with another cheat. I don't know it right now. I will put it in the description box down below. Uh, uh, that sim got the headiness uh, level of 10, then I clicked on the machine and then you can make the weather different. You can change up the weather in the world. So I made it snow and I actually did that a couple of weeks ago, far be before I started building this and I immediately loved the look of it. You have this gorgeous world here with the amazing sky with the purple and the blue and where you play here it changes up in color and you have falling stars and it looks amazing but i think it looks even better when you make it snow here when you have a snowy world you have that that yeah, pink glow over the snow and i just think it looks amazing so when i figured that out i knew i wanted to do something with it and something on the lot and i yeah, I thought it looked magical, but I especially thought it looked very spacey, very outer space, very alien-like. So I wanted to do an alien build. But of course, because it is in the magical realm and I didn't want to make just... Yeah, the, the bird, just the shape. I wanted to make it functional and yeah, it's in a magical realm. I decided to make an underground magical headquarters too. So yeah, I started with that idea around yeah, the snow and on this lot. And then I started thinking about doing a bird because I never made a bird before. And then I started gathering inspiration and I actually came across this picture. I searched for bird shaped architecture, I think, or bird shaped concept art. And yeah, like I said, I found this picture. It is actually the entrance of a city, I think isn't built yet, I think it's a concept, but it's supposed to be the entrance of a city in Iran. It's a massive, because underneath the wings there are roads and it's 
actually aerodynamic architecture because when the cars are driving under the wings because of the air the wings will go up and you have this look so cool of course i couldn't realize that effect in the game unfortunately wouldn't it be amazing though but that first picture really just yes, sparks my imagination for this build and i use this as a starting point of course the entire build looks totally different later on because i made it magical i made it alien i made it the mountain underneath it but especially for the shape of the wings yeah it was just a perfect and talking about shape of the wings as you can see here i used the method again to remove the walls underneath the roofs place doors on it size it down and of course i had to cover them up later but you can see that all later on yeah but talking about roofs i run into a little bit of a bug while i was building this maybe you can see it already i made these roofs glass roofs but you cannot see the glass of course because it's a snowy world and the snow has melted a little bit already you can see the snow on the roof so some of the roofs are white from the snow but they are actually glass roofs but you cannot see the glass as you can see here on the left on that left part of the wing so strange and i actually saw it with some glass doors as well and i think it's yeah bug just on this now it's not just in on this lot i saw it on the other lot as well but i think yeah, it's around this lot because you had i had to use that enable free build cheats there are some other lots you can use the cheats and over there the glass roofs are just working fine but i found another lot actually in the world that came with discover university that had that same issue so very very strange but actually for this build it kind of worked out okay because i thought it kind of looked cool that there were just lines and not the glass in it so it didn't matter that much in the end, but it was kind of a strange bug. But like I said, I saw it once before on the, in that world with um, yeah, Discover University. I don't build there that much, but I think one of the first builds I did there, I made uh, university housing and I had the same problem and with glass doors as well. So very strange, but for this build, it didn't matter that much. But now you guys know what my inspiration kind of was or my starting point was because after that I started thinking about what style I wanted to go for. I knew I wanted to go for magical and alien but I had a game style in my mind as well. Of course The Sims is a game but I had another game in my mind too. I started thinking about Horizon Zero Dawn. I don't know, that's part one. Actually, a sequel is coming out, I think next fall, but it's an RPG. It's a game from a Dutch gaming studio, Guerrilla. Amazing game. It's a post poke post 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 apocalyptic. It's very, very far in the future. And it's on our world. It's not on an alien planet though. But you have monsters over there or animals and they're actually machines. So they're machines in the shape of animals. And there are some birds in that game as well. Not a bird that looks like this one though. This one looks totally different. And in some kind of way I had that in the back of my mind that I wanted to make it look kind of like a machine. That it could be an alien spaceship for example as well or something mechanical so i had that in the back of my mind while i was building this too and i wanted to make it look like it was collapsed onto the mountain i will get into that game the horizon zero dawn a little bit more later on first of all the rocks that i used here they're all debug rocks and there are debug rocks that came with the cats and dogs pack and the cool thing about these rocks Maybe you know what I'm talking about when you place in a rock just on a hill, it just sticks in the air, it flows in the air. But these rocks, they're clipping into the ground and when you raise up the ground all around them, they're just yeah, flowing, flowing into the snow and it looked yeah, kind of natural. It's strange for a build like this to call something looking natural. 
But uh, I could manipulate the earth a little bit better here. I could use the terrain tool a little bit better here. And I could make these rocks really flow into the snow like they are yeah, really snowy mountains. So that's why I use them. And of course I had to make some decisions. You can see I just placed in one of the basement here. We'll get into that a, li a little bit more later on. But of course I had to make a decision for the look of this build. And I love building very sleek and modern builds. This one had to be a mixture in my mind between alien and between magic. So yes, I made a decision to place in a lot of glowing mushrooms and glowing flowers. I just embraced the alien magical feel, you know. Uh, yeah, I went with these items, the glowing flowers, you can see them here, the glowing mushrooms. They are items that came with the Get to Work pack. The very first expansion pack for The Sims 4 and there's an alien world with that pack as well, six some. I actually thought about building a build on that alien world because I wanted to do an alien build. I wanted to see if I could make it snow over there as well, but there's just one lot. You have to use the cheat over there as well. There's just one lot and that cheat is actually um, an able free build. I'm sorry, I was a little bit confused. I think I mixed up two video clips. You could just saw the mushrooms a couple of seconds ago as well. And now you can see how I'm placing it. That's a little bit strange. I think I mixed up two cuts of the video. Uh, it's just in a couple of minutes, I think. I was a little bit confused over here, but I was talking about the alien worlds. Uh, there's just one lot over there, but it's a 10 by 15 lot. So you don't have space for anything. So I dissed that idea. And yeah, I investigated the, the building opportunities for this lot. But it was so strange. I always, when I'm recording for my speed builds, of course, I'm only recording the initial parts, the important parts from the building process. And then I have a lot of short clips and I place them all after each other and then I speed them up with 900%. And I think I mixed up two clips. Ah, well, it's not that important. We're on to the, the basement right now. And basement isn't enough of a word for it because it's a magical headquarters. Of course, I had a lot of room on the ground, but there was something difficult about it because the wings that I made above ground for the birds, they're all roofs and they're on different levels, but they're not on a level, a story height level. I just uh, manipulated the heights of the roofs by the foundation tool to placing, uh, by placing them on different rooms and raising them up and lowering them down. It's a very easy method to use if you want to have your roofs on different heights, but the way you place in a wall later on, on the, yeah, on the uh, place where the roof is as well, or on a room that is attached to the roof, the roof just disappears. And with this basement, when I placed in a room underneath these roofs, the roofs disappeared and the whole wings just disappeared. And because I made the entire mountain already, I did the terrain manipulation already. Yeah, I, I could, long story short, I could only build underneath the mountain and I had enough space over there as well. I couldn't build underneath the, the bird itself, but I think it's kind of cool that you have the magical headquarters in the mountain and that you have that bird as a decorative thing just above ground. There are a lot of things going on in this magical headquarters. Over here you will find three different bedrooms with bathrooms as well. I made a library, I made a room for alchemy, I made a room for a very sweet but powerful spellcaster with a lot of fairies, a little bit angelic style. There's a secret room over there and a secret door that leads to a secret dungeon with a lot of black and darkness for the mischief magic skill. Of course, you can see that all in this part of the video, especially at the very end, you can see that secret dungeon, that secret basement. For the exterior, normally I love blending the exterior look and interior look with each other. And for the exterior, of course, I went with that magical alien sleek look. Yes, the interior is a little bit different. I had to use a lot of items from the Realm of Magic pack 
to make this magical headquarters, of course. And they're not sleek and modern at all. <laughs> or alien. No, they're kind of medieval and magical, of course. But I had to use them in this headquarters. I kind of went with still an elegant and sleek style to make everything white. Uh, um, except for the dark dungeon basement, of course. But I made everything white to keep it a little bit stylish. But no, the whole sleek theme from the exterior, you cannot see it in the interior, of course. I play tested the entire build. I almost forgot to say that. I will put it up on the gallery so you can download it and put it in your game. I recommend you to place it on the world. Uh, on this lot in the magical realm, but of course you can place it anywhere else as well. I don't know how this build looks without snow. I still think I think it still looks cool. You still have the shape of the bird, of course. You still have the flowers and the mushrooms and everything. But I think if you really want to yeah, accomplish the look of the build, use the weather engine. But of course it's your own choice. But a couple of minutes ago, I was talking about that Horizon Zero Dawn game and that started uh, me thinking about last night. Because actually, last night there was the Xbox Gaming Showcase. Oh, did you guys see it? I normally, the E3 is now or was a couple of weeks ago, but of course, because of everything going on in the world right now, it couldn't happen. So we had a lot of yeah, different shows online. PlayStation was a couple of weeks ago. The new design got announced and I loved it. There were so many haters for the new PlayStation design as well. A new Demon Souls got announced. But after that, we had to wait for the Xbox Gaming Showcase. And it was yesterday. And maybe you don't share my opinion opinion but i was quite impressed actually they showed the trailer or teaser trailer was just one minute at the very very end of the entire thing from a new fable game oh man it looked so gorgeous and i was especially very very psyched about a new rpg from obsidian obsidian is the gaming studios behind the outer worlds and uh, fallout new vegas and they will come um come out with a new magic rpg and they showed just a little small glimpse of a clip and it looked so skyrim man oh i was so hyped so <laughs> i just had to share it with you guys there was something that i especially missed as well from not uploading the last couple of weeks i just love talking about things like this and I don't know if you guys like it, but I just love sharing things like that. And I just wanted to share that I had so, yeah, so less of low, I'm sorry, low is what I wanted to say, low expectations from the showcase. But yeah, I was very, very impressed that Fable game. Oh man, and you couldn't see anything. And it was just a CGI trailer. But well, I was very excited and I wanted to share it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's go back to this build. We're almost at the end of this video already. I'm building yet a kind of master bedroom over here. Like I said, for a very sweet but powerful spellcaster, there are a couple of different schools of magic with the Realm of Magic pack. One of them is Untamed and you can uh, cast um, frost spells, if I'm correct, and, and ice spells as well. And I'm always thinking about Elsa from Frozen, <laughs> about that Untamed magic uh, yeah, school. And I thought about her while I was decorating this room. I only saw it frozen once like when it came out but i still thought about her so i went with some statues from the fairies and from a very pretty girl i used the statue throughout this entire yeah, build as well and these fairies too i think they are gorgeous and normally i of course can never use them because i love building modern things but now i could use them so i really wanted to do that too they came with the vampire spec and we're on to the very last room here like i said that secret dungeon I made a pool and I made the walls glow in red and the floor as well. The glowing floor things and wall patterns came with the spade back to make it look creepy, of course. 
and some other touches here and there a lot of black i wanted to place in a magical mirror because i started thinking about the evil queen here and a lot of these dark touches but then we're on the end of this video i'm very curious what you thought about it uh next week to getting to slowly getting into it i think i'm going to upload once and after that i want to be back on my two times a week schedule I really missed you guys. It really felt amazing to yeah, share some things with you guys again. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. We're onto the screenshots already. I hope you will have an amazing day. If you're watching this on a Friday, the day when I upload this, I hope you will have an amazing weekend as well. And yeah, talk to you next week. Goodbye.